Academic experts say that there's still a large gap in gender diversity when it comes to careers in science, technology, engineering, and math. Fox's Marianne Rafferty takes a closer look at what can be done to create greater equity. You are probably familiar with the term STEM, which stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. But while these industries have led to some of the most important inventions in the world, a growing number of academic professionals believe a lack of gender diversity in STEM could hinder our ability to make new discoveries in the future. We aren't going to get those differences in thoughts that build those amazing ideas that create new and innovative things for our world. The most recent data from the Census Bureau reveals women made up roughly 30 percent of workers in STEM jobs in 2019. And while that's up from the 8 percent of women in STEM back in 1970, researchers say there's a lot more room for growth. But getting them hooked on STEM needs to happen at a young age. By the time females reach eighth grade, they either like STEM or they don't. And generally speaking, we gain very few females who go into STEM majors after eighth grade if they didn't already have that interest. The Roger D. Gehring Academy of Science and Technology is trying to do just that. Located in Las Vegas, the school blends STEM topics into its curriculum for their roughly 700 students. If we discourage children in their learning early on, they're not going to have those foundations. They're not going to be successful, and we're going to drive them away, not only maybe being STEM majors, but working in STEM fields. Advocates are also calling for more racial diversity in STEM. Data from the Pew Research Center finds black and Hispanic people are severely underrepresented in those fields. Marianne Rafferty, Fox News.